Hello, heroes. It's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day, we'll fuel your mind, your body, and your future. As usual, in the beginning, make sure you go to SoundCloud, Stitcher, uh, iTunes, and uh, just go into Dr. Zeno. That'll be the podcast of these 15 Minute Fuels. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's where we post all these, and they're there for good because they'll be on Facebook, of course, but Facebook takes them down after a couple of. Uh, a couple, you know, like if I have too many posts, they'll start pulling them. So I don't want you guys to miss out on some amazing fuels and you could always go back to listen to them. I, I actually do all the time. So today we're going to talk about, I'm just waiting for people to come on. Today we are absolutely going to talk about, uh, the title of today is Know the Score. Know your score. And what this means is this. In life, sometimes, you know, we're told, think positive, think positive, think positive. And we tend to turn our our cheek away from how it really is in the moment. You know what I'm saying? So if we have this dream, this goal, this vision, this heroic journey, we are going to set ourselves on. And there's the vision there. But we have to assess where you are right now and utilize it and leverage it to propel forward. And now I'll talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm actually going to talk about the force needed to break through that point where many people can't get through to reach their dreams and their goals. So, but first we have to know where we're at. Know that that's why I mean, know the score. So, you know, let's say it's a business, whatever, let's say your score, let's say your entire life, let's say you look at, you look at the hard facts. See the score is measurable, right? It's a number, it's five, it's 10, it's something tangible that's measurable. So let's say you're, you know, looking finances and you're like, I'm making 35,000 a year, 100,000 a year. Let's say like, you know, the score, there's the score. Um, this is the many hours I'm working a week, or this is, uh, you know, the score of your marriage, you know, on a scale of one to 10, how's your marriage? And you're like, it's a, it's like, honestly, realistically in this moment, you could say it's a six, right? So just, just tell it like it is. Like Anthony Robbins says, don't say it's better than it is. Don't say it's worse than it is. Just tell it like it is. Because we need to have an accurate measure of the score in this moment right now. And this is what's going to happen. Two things. Either you're going to stop complaining because things are great. Okay. Or you're going to be like, man, this is kind of average. I'm six in my marriage. I'm making a hundred grand. But back in the day, a hundred thousand was like the goal, you know, a dream. But that's barely middle class. Um, I'm not able to have freedom and enjoy the things in my life. And you really just assess without complaining. This is just, this is the score. This is what's happening right now. Now here's where we use it for your advantage. So now we have the score and when it comes to pursuing visions or goals, Yo, hey, hey, Dr. Mick, you always hear people saying, well, I, I want to be very passionate about it. And they visualize and have that good feeling. But you could also use anger. You know, you could use anger. Like the worst thing is a state of apathy because an indifference. That's when you've just given up. But you can use anger. So let's say you know the score. You see your score. You see where your life's at right now. And you don't like it. That's the best situation you could be in. Because if you don't like it, what's happening, two things are going to happen. What are you not liking? You're not liking where you're at right now for whatever reason. You, you, you know what you could be in the future. So when in order to know what you want, you need to know what you don't want. So if I don't like the score that's going on right now in an era of my life, marriage, finances, uh, relationships, income, business, then I get upset because I don't like the score because now I'm aware of the score as it, as it is. And I use that energy and I transmute that into focusing on more of I, what I do want, right? Cause at least you feel that pain. You don't want it. But then see when, when you know what you don't want, instead of focusing on that, it makes you focus more on what you do want. So maybe that little anger and energy is enough force for you to break through and say, you know what? Today's the day I'm going to stop. A lot of times people do that, right? You know, they'll be smoking and they're like, I'm sick of this. And they just get mad and they stop. You know, so sometimes like using, you could use all your emotions and you can't, you could transmute that into a benefit because 
the really, you know, when you look at the good and bad of the emotions, you could actually, it's how you respond to them. But I think it's very important that you know the score and too many people, they only want to talk about the score and the, the stuff that they know about or they turn their head from it and they just deny it and they don't want to be, they don't want to be honest with themselves because they're in, they're, uh, they're in naive, they're naive and bliss about it, right? So you're in bliss when you don't know what's going on, but that's not the way life works. That's not, not the way health works or anything like that. So it's always important to know the score. And when you start learning the score, it may be a reality check because you're seeing things as they are. This is the reality. This is the truth. And from there, you could then focus on what you do want and start moving forward. So for today's message, it's know the score. So assess your life and be honest with your life. You know, it's, you know what is the score? What are, your, what are you making per year? What's your finances on a, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best? How's your marriage? How's your relationship with your kids? How's your relationship with God? How's your spiritual walk? How's your mood? Are you grumpy all the time? You're happy, you're pretty, are you complaining at all? Just write out the score and look at it and say this and take 100% responsibility that the way you have thought and the way you have spoken has gotten you to this point right now. All right, so the way you have thought and the way you have spoken has gotten you to the point right now. Therefore, if you want what's on that piece of paper or your scoreboard to change, you have to change. You have to change your mind. You have to change what you're speaking and you need to change the equation so you can start moving forward in life and really truly living the heroic life you deserve. Remember, it's all about remembering. Every time I look at my kids, I, I am, I'm reminded what my true authentic self and spirit is. You know, like I always say, they never went to an Anthony Robbins concert. They never read a personal development book, but they have the gifts and the qualities and, and the character of just the innate pure spirit, uninterrupted, unmedicated. And I'm like, wow, that's, that's, that was, that would, not only was that us, it still is us, but we need to choose to remember. So have an amazing day. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, please hit the share button. Uh, you know, spread this around. You know someone's going to def de definitely need this. Uh, the We Are Heroes show, uh, we're working on editing. The, we want to get a couple shows in the, in, the, uh, in the bag first before we release them. So in the next couple weeks, you'll definitely see that. Uh, make sure you go to my Facebook page, fan page, Dr. Zeno. Get some, get some hero swag. And we got a lot of really good things going on. Please, and also on this, comment below. I answer all your comments. Or if you have something personal, private DM me. Ask me some questions because your questions help fill this show. And also, I want to be able to speak to you and what you want and where you're at. It. So anything you have a question on, just let us know because your question will help so many other people as well. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you tomorrow for 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day will fill your mind, your body, and your future. God bless.